Bam, bam, ba, down. Theme song. Welcome to Solid Content, and welcome to another quick look of a possible game we should all add to our wish lists. This is called The Settlings. It's still under construction, as we can see, but this is the demo they just released, so go play it as well uh, yourselves. Play it along with me if you want, whatever. Now, I call this a quick look, uh, but honestly, we've seen my videos. I, I know YouTube is like, oh, you know, your video should be like 20, 30 minutes. But, like, this quick look might be four hours long. It might be ten minutes long. I have no idea. I'm sorry, guys. I just, I don't care. <laughs> I think I just like playing games. <laughs> so let's play the demo and try the settlings. Play the first world. Forest Island. Utilize the siege workshop to eliminate dangers coming from the deep sea. Free the construction site and complete the lighthouse. Uh, this will allow our ships to bring in settlings to the desert regions in the south and snowy. Oh, okay, so we're going to unlock more maps as we go. In this mode, you will have unlimited amount of time to accomplish the task, but in the alpha version, there is no save system. Oh, I hope you enjoy it. Forest Island, small. Uh, oh, we've started. We've started. Okay, I was going to... I didn't really look around the other menu. Okay, wait, pause. Is there going to be some kind of uh, tutorial? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, okay, there we go. Welcome to the small Forest Island. For now, you are alone. But soon, you will build a thriving settlement with many more settlings. Construct some houses to increase the population. Deliver materials to the siege workshop located east from here. And eliminate the dangers from the sea. Who else does the never eat soggy wieners thing where you're like, that's, okay, east is this way. Uh, I know I'm like 48, but I'm not, by the way. But I mean, I, it just, I, sh I should be better at northeast, southwest, and left and rights, but I'm, you know, I'm not. I love this game already. I mean, like the I like the parallaxing. I like the little the world is kind of fun, right? It's a it's a nice. It's gonna be a real change to watch my colonists starve to death in 2D rather than 3D. So I'm looking forward to that. Can we line house so you can the ships can arrive? Okay, press space to continue. Okay, well let's build some houses then. So building plan. Wait, pause. Okay, pause. Okay, what do we have down here? A di dummy. The dummy has the capability to hold tools, weapons, and certain spells, and automatically distributes them to every visiting settling. He's right click to clear the dummy, okay? A mana cauldron. With the mana cauldron, you have the ability to convert any food resources. So these are all things I can build, I think. Cargo lifts, cargo balloons, cool. A fire camp, hanging bridge, wooden ladders, wooden block, dynamite. Building plan is used to place buildings on the map. Buildings have different sizes and can be placed on free dirt blocks. They can be obtained as a reward for upgrading stone house to an advanced house. Uh... Have I not done? Okay, oh, axe, pickaxe, hammer. So, wait, so if I go axe, and I have this dude just like chop. Oh, I gave him an axe. Okay, okay, here we go. Let's build a house. Right there. Uh, and see what happens with that. Do we need to give this guy something else? If I right click and clear, will that give him. Is he building this? Let's see. Oh, okay, he's going to go chop down a tree, because it needs wood for that, I assume. He's going to hop back up here. Oh, very nice climbage. All right, build the house. Now he needs a hammer. So I feel like that gives him different jobs or something. Uh, let's see if he does the building. So it looks like they kind of go back and forth, um, looking for work to do with their particular tool, is what I'm seeing. Got a hand, uh, we've got a, a house done, which is set, su summoned up another settling, and I got seven coins for that. And now it needs stone to upgrade. Let's give this guy an axe. Give that guy an axe. And give this person a hammer. And let's build another house. There we are. Then let's build... I don't know, let's build some more stuff. Uh, okay, so that's that's all the tutorial I get, I think. But that's fine. we got some skelly boys over here, so we have to get through to them. Uh, let's see what we can build, though. We probably need to build a shop. So the main building can provide coins to the settlement. There's something about this game already that feels like when you're doodling, you know, in junior high school or whatever you guys have in your countries as far as being young and in school, and you're just like, uh, you're trying to make a game with your friends. And you're like, you can build a shop or you can build a little a house or a, a lumber yard because you're just kind of like, you played, you know, you played World of War, or not World of Warcraft, Warcraft. And you're just like, yeah, you're trying to make that uh, when you're drawing it out on paper. Anyway, sorry. Okay. Okay, Lumberjack. Creates more axes, I guess. Uh, crafting axes. Info not occupied. If not occupied, the building provides an axe to a visiting settling. Oh, okay, great. Forestry. If not occupied, the building gives your settling a tree sapling, which can be placed on free dirt block. Oh, amazing. 
A miner's shed, if not occupied, the building provides a pickaxe on carrot delivery. Okay. Uh, the settling will mine some stone blocks from free dirt blocks. Okay. And a builder house. Okay, so this is how we can kind of make people that just do the jobs. We don't have to, uh, you know, give give out the jobs. Uh, well, let's get just like another house going, I think. I just want a third, yes, yet another house. And then I want to figure out, like, let's get up here maybe. Uh... Vegetable bed, mana cauldrons. We just haven't unlocked this stuff yet. Oh, it costs coins. It costs these coins. I have 27 of these coins to unlock things. There, I just unlocked it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I only get three wooden ladders, so I can place them. I don't get to build them. Okay, this is good to know. Well, do I want to get... Do I want to get up there at all, or no? I feel like I want to get up to here... So we just need to get that tree chopped down. Let's get some more axe people. You, axe. Axe. You. Pickaxe. I don't know what you're going to do with that pickaxe, but we're going to find out. Gosh, this is kind of... This is interesting. This is fun. So these, these need stones, and then they will craft... How do I hover over? Okay. Uh, if you bring one wood log, I'll get another coin. Okay. If I can get it up to level 2, I get another space. If you destroy the house using dynamite, you will lose the living space, but not the rewards. Okay. If I can get some stones, it will upgrade itself. So we need to find some stones. I feel like, yeah, he's already pickaxing. Which will get him through to this ladder. Okay, that's perfect. So then we can get up to the high grounds. Here's where we need to get. We need to get to here so we can make the ballista and, I assume, defend ourselves. It's like an interesting take on a, um, uh, a tower defense game, maybe, or something? I don't know. Okay, let's build something new. Uh... If uh, too many settlings are carrying goods, just sell them here. Coins from goods. Okay. So let's put a shop over here. Very nice. And you know what? Another house. I don't know. I don't know. I'm looking up here. I, they don't need food. A parachute, work frenzy, soap bubble. Wait, what does a soap bubble do? Soap bubble is a spell that brings any, any settling onto the next ramp above them. The movement can be a bit random, but the bubble explodes if it doesn't find any ramp within a 10 tile reach. That's amazing. It's like it's like tower defense with lemmings with a colony simulator. We've got a stone here, so we've upgraded. So now what's this going to do? It looks like it needs a statue is the next thing, and then I get to upgrade it. Uh, collect taxes when building and receiving useful tools, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is amazing. Okay, this is coming together nicely. So we've got this house waiting to be done. We need two... Oh, we need planks this we need just like a log oh they kind of put the pickaxe away don't they they're always putting stuff away okay let's go lumberjack this is the only spot I can put the lumberjack let's get a oh we probably need a cooking spot don't we advanced crafting material militia training okay militia training we're not there yet we need the lumberjack first so I need to hand out some more axes so they just they do one task and then they put the axe away I see what's going on here that's kind of cool yeah, it's totally Lemmings, the Lemmings City Builder. I love it. Okay, let's get another pickaxe out and hand it out to somebody who doesn't have a job. Now, careful not to pickaxe too much over there. There we are. Let's get that built. This is another house going up here. Hand out another axe. Hand out another axe. Oh, heck yeah, this is going great. Okay, we've got houses galore. Again, I don't know if I need to feed them. Third blocks can be placed on any non occupied tile. Use them to expand the space for your settlement and terraform the world as you need it. Oh, amazing. Okay. Uh, okay, send. I need more pickaxery going on. Okay. That way. Okay. There we are. Yeah, let's get... We probably need three pickaxes to get through there. Okay. Now, have I lost all my axes? That That's going to be a problem, I think. What are we waiting for here? Oh, a builder. We need a builder. Hammer. Builder. He probably dropped whatever he was carrying, but that's good. We're going to get that finished. Oh, got another hammer out of that. Good. Hey, okay, some more coins out of that. We've got some more stone to upgrade some homes here, so that's looking good. Um, and I think this is, gonna, this is going to provide one axe on the regular. I'm out of axes, but I'm making lots of hammers. That's nice. Boom, three pickaxes. When not occupied, somebody's gonna grab an axe from there. So let's like let's leave that. Let's go uh, 
uh, into a lumber mill I think I need. I need some stone and ladders for that. And a building area for it. I guess we can put it all the way over here. Wait, what's going on down here? Oh, it's a reflection. I thought this was like hell. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put a lumber mill over here, which means I kind of want to like dominate this territory and then put a forester's shack here. How does one get rid of these? Oh, move building, punch, dirt block, mana shield, soap bubble, parachute, and work frenzy. Let's not do work frenzy just yet. I still need to figure out my axe production situation. So every two logs, they're gonna craft one axe. And if it's not occupied, it provides an axe. We're almost out of trees here. What we need to do is more pickaxing. And then probably need to build like a, uh, what's it, a, uh, a mining place as well. Okay, I need three stones to get this thing finished. That's my lumber mill. So that's gonna get my shop complete. Hopefully this provides enough stone. Who needs stone right now? He's got a stone. He's bringing it over to there. We don't really need... I mean, regardless, we do need to get through here. That's the most important thing right now. So the next person headed this way, I'm going to give you a pickaxe. So we can get to this ladder and these trees, of course, which we need. We need, we need the wood. We, we really need a forester is what we need, actually. Okay, forester. Where is that? Forestry. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. Okay. Although, okay, then he's got to make... Let's put it over here. So he's got to make... We need carrots now. Oh, crap. Oh, wait. I can buy that. Vegetable bed. Eight coins. Let's buy three of those. And put it... Put it down here. Carrots. I don't know why, but I'm finding this intuitive. I'm going to put a little grape patch down here, so we're going to get another carrot patch going. So that needs lum a, lumber mill, a completed lumber mill to get going on. That's fine. Some axe choppery is going on over here. This is looking good. Didn't need to buy those ladders, but now I know how to do this. You buy things. Five dynamites. With dynamite... Wait, hang on. With dynamite, you have all the power to destroy nearly all objects and terrain on the map, excluding enemies and certain quest-related structures and their surroundings. I'm going to buy one. I want to see what it does. That's all it does. So it's going to, it's going to expose us to these skelly warriors. Which I don't know if we're ready for yet. So let's not do too much of that. Um, hanging bridge, fire camp, sign. Okay, what does a fire camp do? The fire camp is an inexpensive rudimentary crowd controller. When the fire is lit, settlings cannot pass through it. To change its state. Oh, that's very cool. Oh, it's totally lemmings. With the cargo lift, uh, it can be loaded with essential materials, green color, and requires an operator to transport the contents to the next platform. With up by the shop, this is a nice little downtown area. I like that. Oh, cool. Right click locks it but I'm learning that I needed to manage my resources a little bit better, probably. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen solid content before. Oh, they're still farming. Good. But that is kind of how my life works. I tend to overbuild because I love to do that. For some reason, my axe guys are not um, get going up the ladder. So I'm going to like hit this guy with a soap bubble and see what happens. Um, I'm not sure how the soap bubble works, but we have, oh, we have a few of them left. So if I can just get the axe guy up high enough. Oh, he's going quite high, isn't he? Wait, how do I pop it? There we go. He's going to go chop down a tree. So I just need to do that like a bunch more times. Another thing I've noticed, which is awesome, is you can actually like turn their direction around by just clicking on the little settlings. So that's really awesome as well. But I can also just build a personal lift. It's a more advanced but relatively expensive tool to vertically transport your uh, settlings. Additionally, it has the capability to set a filter allowing only specific types of settlings to access it. Let's, so let's just buy one for fun. So I got one of these. Uh, the range is 15. I don't know how, how big of a range that is. Can I just dynamite this? Oh, no. No, 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 no. I don't want to dynamite that. That was bad. I just lost a settling. Okay. Wait. Oh, wait. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Stone sculpture, uh, free worker, cargo items, axe, pickaxe. Oh, okay. Wait, can I change it though? Let's just do all for now. So where does that go? That goes up to here. He's going to die. Oh, no, it goes to the top. Okay. But the thing is, you have to choose to go up there. And right now, everyone's just carrying, <laughs> carrying carrots around. <laughs> drop those carrots. Please drop your carrots. I gotta figure out how to get them to drop something so we can finish the shop and then sell all this crap. Oh, here's a dude. Here's a free dude. He's gonna go get a carrot, isn't he? And then he's not gonna be useful to me. 
Oh, or is he going to die? Oh, they're dying. They're just all dying. This is bad. Okay, we need to do... Uh, I've got some dirt blocks here. Dirt block. I didn't know the lifter could go through that. Okay. Ooh, at least that makes new people. I could turn him around. No! <laughs> I got a carrot. How do I turn these off? I don't know. Turn, st stop making carrots. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've screwed up. I think what I should have done is bought this mana cauldron. With the mana cauldron, you have the ability to convert any food resource into mana. The more difficult it is to create the food, the greater the amount of mana generated. Mana from food, uh, carrots too. So, uh, by having that cauldron, so that was my 25, I don't have any more degloons coming in, I don't think, unless they pay taxes, but I'm not seeing any taxes coming towards me. Then we could use up the, ma the, the carrots in that then that would enable us to free up some more people to grab those axes. I could send them up using mana to spend because I'm making mana. And and then it's just like, then the whole economy just keeps going. I just happened to realize something though. You use the punch tool here, which costs zero mana. Oh, no. <laughs> and they get upset at which point they drop their carrots or whatever it is that they were holding. This guy is now using the lift. The ax person is using the lift. They don't use the ladder for some reason. We have got another tree chopped down. Now, where's that gonna go, though? Like, I'm just trying to think, what do we want to get finished? I think I want the shop to be finished so I can sell things. Uh, so this is the, let's, yeah, shut that down. Let's, okay, wait, hang on. Let's punch this dude here. Yay. <laughs> and he gets the ax, there we go. We're gonna make another plank and that's gonna hopefully get us closer to our shop. And then I think we're gonna be back in business. There we are, our shop is now being built. So now, what does this thing eat? Um, the shop is a main building providing coins to the settlement. If too many settlings are carrying goods, just sell them here. A little spelling error there. Wood, plank, stone, gold, and sculptures. Crap. So I can't sell the carrots. I thought I'd be able to sell the carrots, but any selling of anything. Uh, wood, stone, wood planks, wood logs, bone, stone sculptures, and gold ore. I guess wood logs? Um, I think that means he's going to eat those logs. I don't want it to make stuff with it, though, is what I'm getting at. Use the left mouse button on the shop to change accepted goods. Okay. Uh, oops, lock it. Okay, I thought that was going to be more useful to me. It might eventually be more useful, but I need, I need more cash coming in. I need to use these logs carefully. Uh, once I get to these trees. So I think I'm going to use two dynamite here and see if I can get through here. I don't know how many settlings this is going to kill, but we've got to do something here. Because the axe person, maybe through fault of my own, like maybe because there's a house here, this lift doesn't go all the way to the top now. I know that it used to be able to, but nobody seems to want to take it that high anymore. Uh, so I guess we're just going to leave that there. Uh, yeah, let's dynamite this and this. There we are. Let's figure out what happens when we get into these lands. But at least this gives me a few more. One, two, three, four more logs. Oh, okay. Okay, so he's quite strong. <laughs> oh, no. My lumberjacks don't want to go up to the top, but seeing as how I now know this lift goes through dirt, I think a more strategic placement would have been placing one here. Also, we only need like one carrot farm. I'm seeing we don't need multiple carrot farms. And then we should buy a mana cauldron pretty much right away with that money, not waste it all on soap bubbles. Although it was a fun mechanic to learn about. So I think what I want to do is kind of uh, get back into it, reset it, get back to this level of progress and then uh, see and then push forward from there. So let's see now what I learning what I've learned. Let's see what we can do. My builder is putting the finishing touches on the tavern and the here and get an all sign going that way and an all sign uh, going uh, that way there. So people won't just walk off the edge. They'll oh, wait. How do they get back down? I guess they need to use a ladder. Oh, I haven't thought about that part. <laughs> I don't know how they get down because the lift doesn't go down. Is there a personal lift? Okay. Wait, how does the personal lift? Okay. That's right. It has the capabilities to fill Time settlers. Um. Okay, so, so I guess the ladder is probably the best way to get down. Affordable means to move settlings vertically. Please note that only settlings with free hands are able to climb the ladder. So we could we could just put a ladder here. I'm not sure why it doesn't let me. Because uh, like this, it goes through the dirt here. 
Somebody explain yourself. So we can put a ladder here, and then free-handed folks can get up and down. I think that works. I don't know if I can place a building at the end of it. Basically, what I wanted to do was create this land and start expanding it this way uh, so I could build houses. Uh, probably want to get, like, a farm going on. Uh, but also, I need to start getting... I need to start thinking about, like, this stuff. Small academy, or a military academy, rather. A small armory. Provide spear and shield for better defense. This unit has three... HP and the spear is doing one damage. And a training spot for basic attack units. Peasants have one HP and the fork is doing one damage. So we need all that up here or somewhere. And then we need like a dummy as well. Cable folding tools and weapons. Certain spells and automatically distributes them to every visiting setting. I actually don't know what that does. I kind of want to build that. <laughs> I just want to see what it, like what is it? Where's a good spot to build this? I can build it down here. What do you do with a dummy? Okay, I don't see what to do with that. I don't see what to do with that, but the point is we've got this going, which feels good. We've got no way for them to get down just yet, but I'm going to keep filling this with logs, which we actually don't have right now. So I'm going to unlock, I'm going to turn this on and start turning my extra settlings into loggers. Uh, so this guy will probably grab a tree and then chop this one down. I'm going to let all that happen. And we could, yeah, we can turn the tree planter back on, I think. Uh, just to kind of keep it going for a while. We have all this stone. We can try to just sell off some stone. Uh, I don't know if I want to sell off stone. Stone is very hard to come by, actually, so I'm just going to keep selling planks there. We're going to hang on to this stone that they're going to just have. Yeah, the, the farming is, is going. The, 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 the chopping is going. But this feels good. So basically, all, this area here generates my wood. Uh, the wood is turned into uh, planks, which I then sell at the shop here. That's kind of a nice full feedback loop. Uh, then that got me into uh, my growing area, a well, the cauldron to regenerate mana based off of this carrot farming, and then the occasional soups made of the cooking spot and carrots are brought up here and give us our builder and our miner. So the whole thing is a nice closed loop. I could get some, I would like some more citizens lying around. That would be nice. I really want to start, like, getting some logs up here. To that end, I should probably shut this off. So I'm going to turn off this thing. We'll get rid of planks. We don't need this to be... Let's unlock it, but let's set it to uh, just wooden logs. So that just kind of helps micro getting people up and down a little faster. Then what I'm going to do is turn this to logs and turn it back. Oh, we've got an upgraded house. That gave me three more building plans. Oh, I love it. That's the, that's the good stuff right there. So our artist is finally starting to put out some art and uh, has upgraded a house for us. Oh man, that's awesome. Um, the other, one of the big things to do in the demo though is to get the ballista up and running and deal with, uh, oh geez, this thing. <laughs> I'm glad he isn't attacking us actively. I think he might, we might lose the demo here. Okay, let's get this bridge. There we are. Let's uh, just uh, demo this, I think. Just to speed things up, I'm going to demo things here. Uh, and then I wonder if I could... There we go. Yeah, we're going to demo that. And then I'm going to use mana to just kind of create this situation here. There we go. So that's one way to kind of get up to the top here. Probably chop these trees down eventually. Oh, in fact, here comes a chopsman right now. So he's going to go and chopify that. And then what do we need to do? We need to get one stone and three logs up there. Yeah, so we need a lot more, like, log chopping going on. Oh, a bird takes off from the log. Okay, here, oh, here it goes. This is the first first delivery to our our siege workshop. That's awesome. Uh, oh, here we go. Somebody's operating and they're putting logs up there. Okay, I love that. Let's buy some more. So we have a bit more mana, so let's buy some more of this. Because we're going to need a lot of spot if, uh, room for our training. And we can't, you can't use the move building a tool on a sign, unfortunately. So I am going to dynamite the sign and buy another one and just put it out here. I think that's enough for now. And maybe we, we can put a ladder here, actually, couldn't we? How many ladder pieces do we have? Let's go ladder here. There we are. Okay, that dude's gonna die, probably. There we go. There we go. Got him. Wait, we need to... Don't go that way. Don't go that way. Good. I could have saved him if I needed to. Okay, now we're done with the sign placing and destroying. There we go. There we go. So they'll stay in here, but they'll use empty hands. We'll use the ladder to get down. So that's a great way to get resources up. Oh, he's gone up here. 
Oh, that's great. He's gone up here with the log. Um, I was going to build houses. It was kind of what I wanted to do on this level, but I think I want to start getting going on a training spot. Basic attack units. Peasants have one HP in the fork. He's doing one damage. So we need... Oh, we need... Uh, we, need a, we do need an active farm for this to work. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's get a training spot. We could build out from this. No, let's build... Uh, let's keep a little bit of space here in case I want to do, like, a house or something. Oh, jeez. It's bigger than I thought. I should have looked at the size. I could still do a house there. That's nice. You know what? I'm going to. I want, I want to see a house there. So that's going to bring logs up there eventually. This guy's going to drop that log off. And then this is going to become sort of our training grounds here. So we'll get the training spot. A small armory. Now, what do you need? You craft with a plank and grapes. You should almost be down here, shouldn't you? I'm not really sure how that's going to work. This, You know... You're going to have to restart things, you know, frequently, I think. Crafting a bone plus a, uh, a tavern thing and a hammer makes me a warrior. I'm going to build my military academy right here. Build it over there. There we go. So, oh, we got to get some gold ore going on. So things are getting very... Uh, oh, here we go. The logs are getting shifted up. Oh, I love this. I love the functionality here. And then once we get weapons and stuff, we can bring them down that way. Meanwhile, over here, we just need one more log to get our ballista up and running. We're about to have our military academy going. I think I also might, like, bring some, I don't know, some dirt or something down, just to make it, or maybe more ladder, some, to make it look a little more, like, st structural, because now it's just kind of floating, but that is the style, I guess. Okay, so we need a builder to build that house. Uh, let's go here and say, send me a builder. Eventually, we'll get a builder out of... Uh, the builder's house. Once it gets... Somebody's got to just bring a soup up. Do I have this on? Two carrots. So let's turn off the mana farm so that these carrots here get brought to the cooking place. That'll make me my soup. They'll bring it up here eventually. He's getting up there with the logs. This is... Oh, yeah. Look, th building this out has been very satisfying, and it has unlocked the game for me in a way that I'm like, oh, I get what's going on now. I see what's happening here. Although, wait, are these guys using the ladder to get back down? No, there's no way back down. Again. Okay, I'm going to test something with this. Let this guy go back down and see if this kills him. Too high. <laughs> okay. I need to create a uh, way down, unfortunately. Let's go. Okay, let's bulldoze these. Let's buy some more of that. Bulldoze that. And let's create a little bit of a situation here. I think that ought to do. Now, if we want to... Yeah, we can put this here, a little bumper, so they don't actually go all the way this way. They just come down here. Okay, let's see if that works. Let's, that costs me these two. Okay, we're good. Oh, they climb over it. Right, I forgot. Okay, I mean, that's fine. They'll just kind of go all the way over here. So I could just block this guy off like that. There we are. Okay. Are right, we doing up here? One more log to get brought out over here, and then we've got our ballista up and running. But yeah, I think having learnt uh, what was going wrong here, I am seeing now uh, how better to fix this in the future and how better to manage resources. Because this is this is running quite nicely. Now the trick is going to be how do we make it, you know, scale up? That's the big thing we're not seeing just yet is how to scale this thing up. I think I probably need to build another sort of... Maybe I can move this house and spend the mana. There we are. Spend the mana and move this house over there and see if I can't get another wood chopper guy. Let's do another lumberjack. Oh, it's too big. Okay, let's spend some more mana and move this one as well to right there. I like that feature. That's a great feature. Lumberjack. There we are. So we'll get that lumberjack built, uh, which will allow us... Yeah, which will have two chopper people going. That'll generate a bit more logs. Yeah, this soup is kind of going the wrong way. Now, one thing I haven't checked is, do these people just fall right off the edge? <laughs> I hope not. Please don't walk past this building to your death. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yay, did it. That's where I'm losing everyone <laughs> and all my resources. Okay, so I could go out one like this. Oh, I'm out of mana. I got to turn the mana farm back on. Mana farm back on. 
Uh, okay, that's gonna be a problem. Can I buy a sign at least? I can buy a sign for now. Oh, I see what I can. Okay, I was gonna try to make a bumper, but I don't need to do that. I actually just need to put a sign right here. All. Turn it that way. There we go. No, I probably won't lose people so much anymore. Oh, I like the animation of the bridge. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, let's see if that worked. Yes, okay, people aren't dying anymore. I've stemmed the tide of losing people. I'm sure some of you were just screaming at your, uh, <laughs> at your screens. So we're getting logs brought up here, which is good. We don't need those anymore. So let's change this to stone. Stone to stone, thank you. So somebody's gonna get that and probably just come back down with it. Now, if I don't want people with resources to go down, I can just close that off. So this is perfect, yeah, this is a good little system. So we need the stone to go up, the logs. Um, we need the lo we need a log person to go this way. Let's actually just turn this guy around. Um, log person, log person. Oh, that's what I've been doing wrong. There we go. Let's turn that to all. Because we're gonna start getting yeah we're gonna find we start getting people stuck up here by accident. So we what we need was that soup guy that we lost. We need unfortunately we needed that bowl of soup to come up here. So we can get a builder and build these items. That being said, we do have a couple hammers left, so we might as well just give this guy a hammer and turn him around. There we are. So he can go and build probably that house, I guess, but I'd rather he build a training spot. Yeah, build the house. That's all right, we can build a training spot next. Just use up another hammer. I would love to figure out a way that these hammers are re-upable. Do you know what I mean? There we are, thank you, give me that money. Yeah, I'd like to figure out a way to, to, to make these ham like this little stuff. I want to store more pickaxes and, and hammers and stuff down here and get some more axes back. That's one thing I find I'm missing. Okay, our log is being delivered now to the ballista. Oops. I want to lock that. So now what we need to see is... Okay, it's crafting a bolt. I think. Oh, oh, yes! We're doing it! With really bad aim! Okay, so that... Okay, I see. So now two more logs, and that's going to get me another... Uh, oops. Uh, that's going to get me another volley to take him down. So the best thing I could do is... I mean, first of all, we got to get this built. So let's... Uh, here, let's give you a hammer. But I'm almost out of hammers now. Now we have two more log choppers. Let's not have our logs. I don't think we need logs up here anymore. So let's turn this back on. Let's change this to um, stone. Let's get stone up there. And then eventually we have to start making our... Uh, so we need some wheat as well. We got a hammer out of that. Good. So yeah, we need to start making some uh, gold mine here. Where's the gold mine? How does this work? 50% chance that you'll find gold here. If not, you will get your pickaxe back. Oh. I think the next stage is going to be learning how to uh, uh, filter people or resources in little areas, like siphon them into little areas where they can just be little self-sustained pockets. But I think that the design of the game is such that you kind of need to flow most resources around to each other. Everything kind of needs needs your, your, your help everywhere. Uh, so we have a builder sent up here, but we actually don't need a builder right now. Let's go back to what do we need up here? We're bringing up planks, so let's turn this to stones for now. We don't need a builder just yet, so you can just, yeah, just hop off there. We do need a builder over here, though, so let's keep you going this way. Let's just make sure it's micro him a little bit, make sure he goes this way. Good, okay, so he's going to build our gold mine, which is good. This carrot he is going to get brought over here, I hope and think, and that's going to get me another miner, which will get another stone, which will then get brought up here, so that's perfect. So I'll turn him around. Uh, I am waiting for a stone down here, though. I need, a, I need one more stone to be brought to keep our ballista going. So, yeah, the name of the game is is something that I'm not, admittedly not very good at, which is microing all of this stuff. Learning to uh, not to put all this... What does this get? Oh, that's it gets me one attempt. So I need a plank, soup, and an, a pickaxe to go and do one attempt. A 50-50 chance of getting some gold, but at least I get the pickaxe back. Okay, so that's nice. So we need to keep working on that. We need to keep getting this soup here. Let's turn that off for now. Let's turn this off for now. I think we should probably, like, defeat this dude for a while. Uh, but I need to also make sure that we don't 
chop down so many trees here. There we go. Let's do that. Let's replenish our forest. Everyone's kind of carrying trees and forests and whatnot. We got a guy carrying some stone. That's good. So let's bring that stone over here. How fast can speed go? That's the max. All right, so we're going to get another volley with our ballista over here. Oh, man, this is a blast. Now that I've figured it out, it's just nice to see it all running. I'd love to get just like 65 more houses built. And I do actually have... I don't have the builders for it, but I do have the, the logs to just build a bunch of houses and then just really just massive uptick in our worker force here. Okay, there's our stone. Excellent. Prepare more ballistae. Ball ballistae. I wonder if there's a way to up our accuracy as well. Maybe if we have uh, better trained uh, folks. Okay, so we'll get those logs brought out there. Let's spend a hammer just because we're gonna, we've played our quick look. We've got a sense of it. The attack begins. Good hit, good hit. Oh, both missed. Okay, so third miss in a row. That one's way too high. Can I aim these or something? We've not made... Oh, no. We have not made one hit this whole time. Oh, that's brutal. We didn't make one hit on him. Dude, this is going to take forever. Automatically fires him in the enemy. The ballista is not the most accurate weapon, but the ammunition is quite cheap to produce. Is that that cheap? Logs and stones constantly. There we are. We've got another house, and that has brought out... That's going to eat up another stone, actually. I just thought about that. Uh, but that's brought out just a few more people, a few more uh, settlings to help. We only have... Right now, we only have... Oh, that's okay, actually. That's kind of working, yeah. By bringing only soup and carrots up, we're going to constantly be mining through this chunk here. This uh, shouldn't get us in trouble with any of these skelly boys just yet. So that's pretty good. But it, I bet it could also hold... Let's get, like, a farm going. We can put the farm up here because we can make farm fields out this way. We will then need to build another well up here because I think this well is too far away. Uh, and uh, as always, if you have too many things, like I'm seeing too much tavern wine floating around, so I'm going to turn off the tavern, uh, cause these folks just have too much of that tavern goodness going on. There's a builder down here. So let's probably get him to build that house and get me some more settlings. I think if we just spam down some more houses, it might just speed up the rate of thing at which things get done. And then if this gets close to, you know, uh, I feel like it should be fine. Shouldn't it? Yeah, but if it does get close to it, we can always just put up some more dirt. In fact, I might even just spend the uh, resources to put up some dirt here anyway so that the mining is easier. You know what we could actually have done is, you know, build our mining workshop here and put a, just like a hunk of dirt right here. There we are. So that hunk of dirt is ready to be mined immediately, and that's a lot closer to uh, all of our delivery routes. So there we go. Somebody bring a carrot. It is slowing down. It's going to slow down my lemmings. My settlings, sorry. I mean, they're getting over that pretty quickly. Turn around, dude. Uh, what do I need to bring? Stone. We don't need stone up here anymore. What do we need? We need... Uh, planks. That's being brought up. And maybe a couple of logs. Let's turn that to logs now. So that stone will probably get brought down here and probably upgrade that house, unfortunately. But hey, it's worth it. Another stone is delivered. Our settling numbers go up. Am I going to take this chance to maybe build another round of settling houses? Maybe right up here? Oh, that's going to just take forever to get built, though. Oh, and the ballista yeah. fires off again. Sounds like it got a good yeah. hit. Another good hit! Okay, this was a good round already. We got two hits in with our last three hits in. Okay, this is a way better, uh, a way better ballista round than the last time. <laughs> So yes, I think my progress in the game was somewhat slow, and I think similar to a factorial playstyle, you need to just figure out kind of what levels to put what resources. So maybe, like, this is the only uh, time in, in the universe where trickle-down economics would actually work. Like, you have to have your trickle-down going on from up here and down. Uh, but just getting more settlings in seemed to do the trick. Also, this, I found out, was a recent update. The punch that gets him to drop whatever resource he's carrying. So let's get this guy to drop those grapes. <laughs> <laughs> I like that noise, too. <laughs> so I feel like if I'm not careful, this game is going to be uh, deeply addictive. And I have a child now, so I probably will have to be careful uh, playing this game. I'll have to, like, set five alarms to remind me not to get too addicted to the settlings. Let me know what you thought of it in the con uh, comments down below. Hope you found it to be some truly solid content. 
and let's wishlist this thing because it looks fun. I will see you all in the next episode of whatever it is I decide to play. Run, my settlings, run!